here he is from the San, from the I did it didn't I the Los Angeles Chargers. Philip okay, Rivers Rich. here on the Rich Eisen Show. How are you, Philip? Hey, Rich. How are you? Better you. Better you do it than me do it at this point. I, I've gotten used to it. I think I don't think I'll I don't think I'll mess up anymore. No, I mean, but do you sometimes do that? I mean, does it? Oh, there's no question. No question. Especially just in conversation, you know, or, or just talking to someone. You know, I've been back east visiting some family and things, and you just uh, it's natural. You, you you still you still say that. It's just like you said, shoot, 14 years. It's, 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 it is taking some getting used to. It. I got to tell you, when I started doing NFL Total Access for the network uh, the year before you were drafted, uh, it took me like two or three years on the NFL network. A couple times I was throwing a break. I would say, like, this is Sports Center. You're watching sport. I mean, <laughs> honestly, I did it. I did it on the air. It's existing on tape. I did it all the time, you know. Um, so, all that said, are you, uh, are you truly used to the fact that you are not going to be playing in Qualcomm? You're going to be playing in StubHub? You're going to be – uh, north of San Diego, all year long, Philip. Well, I, I'm getting used to it. I, I think I think I, you'll get more used to it once we actually, you know, I think we have a few practices set up for uh, in StubHub. I know we uh, obviously have a couple preseason games there, and then uh, you know, being up there for training camp. I mean, I, I think that's when it'll really uh, it'll start to become less uh, of the unknown, I guess, because there's still a little bit of that unknown. I mean, we're about to report to training camp here in two weeks, well over two weeks. And uh, I'm not sure where, where, you know, you know what I mean? It's not, I haven't, I haven't ever, ever laid eyes on it. So there's just a lot of unknown uh, at this point, our new facility, all those things um, that we're still adjusting to, but hopefully by the end of training camp and when uh, September rolls around, we'll be, we'll be nice and settled in. Well, I mean, I know, look, uh, athletes and certainly you folks who are so uh, successful at being an athlete professionally have to have that tunnel vision but there's also the, you know, habit that a professional athlete likes to have and routine and things of that nature. Uh, how, how are you going to be able to even prepare for that, Philip? Well, I know, gosh, I, I, I don't know. I, I think, I, I think some, some of that part is, uh, of that unknown, I think, is also exciting, you know, in, in a way, I, I, because, it's, because it's new. I mean, things that are a little bit unknown and new, they are exciting. And I... Uh, I, you know, I certainly you mentioned that routine and that same locker I had and walking to that same quarterback room and doing the same thing for so long. Uh, you kind of start, kind of start a new routine. And I think it's something that that does take a little time until it's really meaningful to you. The the the, the, the location, and I think again, location is meaningful because of the people that you've been around. So and, and that you're around. So I, I think you got to start that new routine. And obviously, I don't have I don't have I don't have another 14 years ahead of me to build that routine and, 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 and that uh, most be emotionally attached in the way I was at Charger Park and, and in the community in San Diego. But uh, hopefully still got plenty of years left to get a good routine in and, and enjoy it and, and make a lot of memories and win a lot of games. Now, how much, though, Philip, if you don't mind me asking, but I'll do it anyway, um, that obviously, you know, the fan base and, and as you mentioned, the stadium and the memories – that, that that it's difficult to switch midstream 14 seasons in. So, but how much of the change and your your uh, shock with it has to do with the fact that your family and your children and your wife were so entrenched in the San Diego community and and uprooting them or even the concept of doing that, Philip? Yeah, I would definitely. I mean, I, that definitely played a part into it, and and it all all of it. But yeah, because of our our family and all, most of our children, or all of them, but one were born. I've been born in San Diego in the community you build at church and in schools and uh, all those things. So, um, so it definitely uh, was more than just just if it had it just been just me, it still would have been difficult. But certainly that that plays a big part into it, and. Um, but I really am excited. I, I'm going to be really excited about embracing this this new chapter it both as both from an organizational standpoint and then from personally in, in my career and uh you know new kind of a, a new market new fan base I, I i do think over time at least it seems like there's more and more of our uh fans that we've had that, that are in san diego or are, are growing or are kind of getting more and more warmed up and excited i've had a bunch of people telling me they're coming up We're, we'll be up there we'll be up there every game it's hard but we'll be up there so i i think i think uh if we can get it going, we truly can be as, you know, I know, I know uh, the Rams moved in there, but it's kind of that Southern California's team and right there in LA and 
I know they haven't had pro football in 20 years, and then they got the Rams last year. And I, I, the one thing I'm not oblivious to is there's a lot of foot, a lot of sports teams there, and a lot to do there, and that we we got to earn it. We got to earn earn that. Uh, we can't just go up there and say, oh, here we are, and, and expect people to love us and cheer for us. We have to earn that on the field, and and we uh, we plan on doing that. Philip Rivers of the Los Angeles Chargers here on the Rich Eisen Show. How is Mike Williams? I know uh, he's been hurt. For much of the mini camps, the young man out of Clemson. What can you tell me about him, Philip? Well, unfortunately, I, we hadn't seen a lot of him. You know, the first first uh, uh, rookie mini camp. I think he, you know he did a little bit, and then he, he just hadn't been out there with us on the practice field, been able to practice full go with us. So, hopefully, he's getting healthy um, right now, and is going to come into camp and 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 be ready to help us. Uh, he, he certainly is going to be a little bit behind, but. I think the, the one thing I'm thankful for is the group of receivers that we do have. Um, that we, we we got a, we got a heck of a group, and it's not a, it's not just a, a one man show, and, and and not just like shoot if, if Mike's not healthy, we're in trouble. Uh, that being said, we want Mike out there to be a part of it, uh, and add, he adds a great deal to that group. But it's a, it's a good group, and um, he certainly. Uh, I think I was walking by and they had they're showing some of the replay classic game night not classic games but the games from last year the Alabama Clemson game was on and me and my son were watching it and some of the big plays he made in that game and so we want him out there with us I'm not saying that but thankfully uh we do have a pretty salty group uh even without him out there yeah and Keenan Allen how's he looking he looks he looks like himself I really can't you know and of course uh you know, they, as they say, love is blind. He, he's, he's ours, so I think he looks great. Honestly, but I really, I really, uh, I really think he looks just as good as before he got hurt. He does. He's really, really, really worked at it. Credit to him uh, because that was a miserable season for him last year, having to watch us. He played one half of football and and had almost ten catches in the first half, and then had to watch us all year. But he really committed to to getting himself back out there, and the fact that he practiced with us all off season, and and uh, I was talking to him the other day. He's he's so fired up to be out there with us that uh, I don't think that uh, I don't think that you'll be able to see a difference. Uh, you'll see the same guy you saw try out there last September. Philip Rivers of the Chargers joining me here for a few more minutes uh, on the Rich Eisen show, and it's not just the move of location; it's it's a new coach in Anthony Lynn. What, what can you tell me about the quarterback coach relationship as it currently stands, Philip? It's, it's we're, we're it's Bill. It's growing. It's growing. I think like any you know, obviously uh, I've had a handful handful of head coaches now, and uh, it's it's been really good. We've had a lot of good visits. Um, I really I really not that he not not that he needs my approval, but I really think he's been great uh, the way he's. The way he started off the, the this whole year being here, and the way he commands the room, uh, the way he's been with the guys, kind of the 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 direction he's you know he's laid out for us, and it's been good. You know, and I think keeping uh, keeping Wiz and keeping Coach Wears here has been great. And then uh, you know you bring in Gus Bradley, uh, another guy who's been a head coach. You know, so I, there's two guys on the, uh, run, running the offense and defense that've been head coaches in this league. And, and then Coach Land, I know, shoot, he won Super Bowl as a player. He's been around some great coaches, and he's a great coach himself. Just never been in that head coaching role. But I think it's a strong staff, and uh, I like I like I like everything that's that we've done up to this point. So uh, when the new stadium gets built, and now it's been pushed back a year, 2020, do you think you'll be playing a game in it, Philip? Well, I I, uh, I won't be. As of today, I'm not under contract in 2020, but I, I hope to be playing football in 2020, and, and, and certainly I hope I'm still playing uh, here. So, yeah, I hope, to, I hope to get to see that stadium then. Uh, that's a long way out. I've I, 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 I've learned to just take them one year at a time and one game right. at a time at this point. I'm certainly thankful I've been able to be out there for all of them since 2006, but I don't take that for granted. And um, hopefully, uh, hopefully I'm still playing well enough and we've won, a, won enough football games uh, that I will be able to try out there and play in 2020 in that new stadium. And if not, uh, maybe you can host the ESPYs like Peyton Manning. What, what do you think, Phil? <laughs> I, I don't know. I tell you what, that, that, all those all those guys that do that is tough, and then uh, Peyton Peyton gets up there and uh, and and kills it. So uh, that was fun. To, that was fun to watch. I know at our house, even more so because he was hosting it. It made it exciting uh, to uh, see him because you know for all my children. Shoot, I've always been a fan. Getting to see him, hadn't seen hadn't seen much of him since he's been retired. That's right. And uh, let's say uh, Chargers game is on Fox later on this fall. 
and uh, you have the uh, quarterback meeting with the broadcast crew, and Jay Cutler walks in the room. How 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 will that work, Philip? Oh, it'll be just it'll be just fine. Okay, it'll be just fine. Jay Jay, Jay and I moved on from that a long time you ago. Have? And, okay. Uh, I think I, I think the hype the hype the hype was even more than it ever really really was at least from my end. And um, <laughs> now he and I have had. You know, I have, have had a handful of conversations since then. I think I think that's all water under the bridge. Okay, no, they won't. They, so there will be a Merry Christmas uh, exchange between the two of you, essentially. Oh yeah, okay. oh yeah, I think so. Very I good. Think so. so tell me about the groove ring, Philip Rivers. I, I've heard about it before, and I've seen it. I think Kurt Warner wears one, quite frankly. So tell me about it. Yeah, well, I tell you, it's it's, it's awesome. I mean, shoot, I've always worn my my you know regular wedding band, but then you're taking it off to work out. You're, Taking it, you you're bumping it all thing, holding little babies. I'm, you know, you're worried about bumping them. So, uh, the, it's a silicone ring, and uh, it's awesome. I mean, I, I don't ever take it off, and I hardly even know it's on. That's what's nice about it. It's not bulky. It's uh, it's breathable, so it doesn't and it doesn't sweat. It doesn't get real sweat and where where it bugs you and slides all over the place. And uh, really, the best thing too is that there, it's it's lifetime warranty. Shoot, you break it, you lose it. You have another one sent right to you, so um, hmm. it's a it's a it's a heck of a deal. And uh, and shoot, they got they, they look they have so many colors and different. They're sleek looking, you know. They have so many different. You can't even tell uh, that it is silicone. Uh, but hmm. shoot, I think for the for the for the active person out there, shoot, whether there's so many people now, and whether it's CrossFit, all those things, or even just people handling machinery and all those things, uh, they're safe. You know, there's, okay. there's a lot of accidents. So, here, what like, do you have? Regular rings. Can you get any Chargers colors for us to see during the game, or what? What, what are you going to see yeah. on a Sunday or a Thursday? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Monday. Yeah. Why? Well, you know, I wear a glove on my left hand. It's the only thing, but I don't have it on all the time. But okay. yeah, last year was really the first year I played. I didn't take it off. I wore it. Wore it in the games. Oh, but oh yeah, they got the baby blue and the and the Charger blue and. Yeah, so maybe I can mix in, mix in game day color. How do you do it? And that's my last one for you, Philip. I think I ask you this every time. I've got three kids. I don't know. I, I try to be present for all three. You have eight, correct? Right, correct. Philip? How do you do it? Right. And you're and you're quarterback in the NFL. How how do you how do you pull this off? Well, it starts. I have a great wife, and mm-hmm. uh, Tiffany's awesome. And she would she without her unselfishness and and dedication to the family and especially in the end season uh we had no chance but um i tell you what what has really helped is that god gave us three girls first and they're now 15 12 and 11 oh, God. so they uh they are very very uh they've learned to be very unselfish too they all oh. big big families they have to be had to be unselfish, so all eight of them help and contribute, but those three girls certainly, the, there certainly is, help mom and dad out. There's an eye in rivers, but it's really about the team is basically what you're no, saying, Philip. No question. Hey, we shoot, we got a team. We got three subs on the bench, basketball. We're one away from a baseball team. We're in good shape. <laughs> now, hold on a second. <laughs> Wait, is this, are we breaking news here that eight, it, eight is no, no, not no, enough? Is. Eight is not enough is what you're saying? I, I'm just saying you never know. That's all I'm saying. You just never <laughs> oh, know. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Philip, uh, love chatting with you. You take care of yourself. Love to have you back on soon rather than later. Let's, let's do it again, Rich. Always enjoy it. Thanks. Yeah. Right back at you. That's Philip Rivers of the Los Angeles Chargers, GrooveRing.com. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, download our app. Please, just if, if it's a memory thing, just delete other apps. You don't need those apps. This app, the Rich Eisen Show app, you need that.